Hey everybody, Asian Faja Gamer here. I just want to take a second, put it out a small disclaimer, to let you all know that I am not a mental health professional. I just want to do my best to be able to help others with my own experience, and at the very least, hope to be able to point people in the right direction if they do need help. And of course, I also want to remind people that we do go into very heavy and potentially triggering subjects. So that is something to be considered. But I do appreciate your support for you being here. Thank you so much. And I hope you enjoy this episode of Fajali Advice. Hello, everybody, and welcome to another episode of Fajali Advice. I do hope that y'all enjoyed our last episode. And I do want to say thank you to our viewers for your support and your time. It means the absolute world that you enjoy my podcast and you support my YouTube channel. Thank you so very much. And to any newcomers who are coming in with this episode to the Fajli Advice Podcast, who are interested in supporting me as a content creator, please do check out the links in my bio, in my link tree, to see how to do just that. There's a Patreon, there's a merch store, and so much more. And of course, I do want to say thank you to our submitters, for without you... There would be no podcast. And to any viewer that wants to submit to the Fajli Advice Podcast to have your submission read and to receive some advice, check out the information at the end of today's episode. With that, let's get on into our first submission, shall we? Which is brought to us by ADHD Gamer. And they write, Dear Faja, I have been diagnosed with ADHD and have been for roughly 12 years now. And I promise that this information will be relevant. Now, I am also an avid gamer, and I do also have a job that helps me sustain my home that I own. And I am quite happy as I am. What makes all of what I said relevant to my issue? My dad. He, to this day, still doesn't understand why I, one, take medication for ADHD, which he says to me is wrong, weird, and is not helping me grow out of this, in his words, nonsense. When I was diagnosed, my mother did everything she could to help me, which I am grateful for. But my dad, he would not and still has not gotten out of the I'll grow out of it train. It's been 12 years now, and I am finally found a medication that works and helps and I have been living a much more stable and aware lifestyle. That's awesome. I'm really glad to hear that. But that doesn't change the fact that I love playing video games, and that's not something I plan on stopping because it's how I unwind after work. I am pretty sick and tired of dealing with the arguments with him every time I come to visit when he asks me am I still playing those childish video games. I am sorry, but what am I missing here? I have a job. I have a home, what does it matter if I use medication to stay level and that I play video games? I asked him, how is it it that different from drinking beer and playing football? Only difference dad, and it's a big difference, is that I have a fucking diagnosis, and it's been consistent with several different specialists, and what they have said. I left after he started cussing me out when I told him he doesn't know more than the people who went to school to study mental health. So maybe, like he always says to me, he should listen, listen to the professionals. Am I wrong here, Faja? What do, I, what do you have to say about this? Sincerely, ADHD Gamer. <laughs> oh dear. Um... Now, when it comes to this particular situation, this is one that I am a little bit familiar with. Why? Because I also have been diagnosed with ADHD for some time. I got received my diagnosis when I was roughly, I believe, 13, 12, going on to 13, somewhere around that age. And I didn't exactly receive a lot of support. And to this day... It's not exactly something that um, I have received a lot of support for, but that's not the point of what I'm trying to say here. What I am trying to say here is when it comes down to this particular situation, you are not wrong. 
you are taking care of yourself. You are living your life. You are enjoying it. You're happy. You have nobody to answer to with that. You're an adult and you have a home and you're sustaining. Just because your father doesn't seem to think that you're fulfilling some form of expectation and you need to be this or that really doesn't mean anything. Truly, it doesn't because you are not here to fulfill your father's expectations. It doesn't matter what your father thinks about whom you should be. What matters is who do you want to be? And it seems like you are right where you want to be and you are enjoying yourself. So you are not wrong. There is nothing wrong with what you are doing. There is nothing wrong with enjoying video games. It doesn't matter how old you are. As long as you are getting what you need to get done. Done. Ain't no problems. And I don't really understand what is so hard for some people to get. It's like you said, there is no difference. Whatever you do to de-stress is the same thing that someone else does to de-stress, just in a different action. But it is still your way to de-stress, and there is no devaluing that because it's you. It, it's not, you're not doing it for someone else. So even your dad, his opinion matters not to the life that you choose to live and how you choose to live it if you're not harming yourself or anyone else. And anyone out there, honestly, anybody out there, parent or otherwise, you need to understand this. Your child will be their own person. Your child will have their own interests, their own likes, and their own means to cope with the life that they will lead. And though you may not like it, you have no entitlement to tell them that they need to do otherwise. You can say what you want, but they need not heed what you say. Because how someone lives their life is how they'll live it. How you want to live your life is how you will live it. That's where it stops. You don't have the right to dictate anyone else, just like they don't have the right to dictate you. And this goes out to the people who have this mindset where they think that their child or other people around them need to be some way. No one needs to be any way that you think that they need to be. The only person that you need to worry about when it comes to what needs to be is your own self. This goes out to the submitter and to everybody, honestly. To us or are we to give weight to other people when they don't have it? When it comes to our lives, who we are. And I don't know what is so hard for some people to understand when it comes down to the fact is, just like watching sports, just like having a beer, just like going running, going to the gym, watching TV, watching a movie, hanging out with friends, whatever you do to relax. To a gamer, video games are the same freaking thing. Whether you understand it or not, you understand what it means the need to relax, right? And you have your own means to do so. We all have our vices. These vices are what we use to cope with the world in front of us in one way or another. And that is exactly what we are doing when we try to relax and get away from the stresses of our everyday life. We are coping. There has been some odd instances where we have started to use certain words and turn them into a complete negative when they are not. Words are neither negative nor positive unless, of course, they are given the connotation to be so by the speaker. But words are also only given power by those who listen. I have said that time and time again. So keep that in mind when it comes to all of this. Stop letting 
other people, even your own parents' judgment, stop you from enjoying yourself and being who you want to be. Stop holding back because someone told you that you should. If you're not going to hurt anybody, if you're not going to harm yourself, and the only thing that you are doing is pursuing your goals, how you see fit, and where you want to be, stop listening to others and start moving forward. Your dad might be stuck on the he'll grow out of it train, but that, in my opinion, is one of the stupidest trains that has ever cre been created when it comes to the idea of so many different things. Oh, you'll grow out of ADHD. Oh, you'll grow out of video games. Oh, they'll grow out of asthma. You know how many times I've heard that? And you know how many times it's been nothing more than absolute and utter bullshit? Every time. Every single time. Because you don't grow out of anything. No. You work towards finding the tools to overcome and to continue to move forward. No matter what challenges you face in life, no matter what you may have to, no matter what unpleasantries you may have to face, it's all part of it. And it's not about growing out of it. It's not some magical thing. Especially when it comes to something like neurodivergency, ADHD, mental health, and mental, what's the word? Not, I, wanna, I don't want to use the word illness. I believe there is a better word for this. Um, mental afflictions, um, mental states. Because everybody's unique and everybody's different. And we are learning more and more when it comes to mental health and the way that the brain works and develops every day. That science is constantly changing. And if we deny that, we are only walking forward in ignorance. There are people out there who still continue to do so. And it's sad. Especially when it comes down to things like neurodivergency. When it comes to things like ADHD, they think about depression and people with chronic depression and you hear such callous statements like oh just go be happy oh you'll get over it that's not so these are these are parts of our life for many of us they are parts of our life that we have to learn in synchron Learn to live with, sorry, trying to figure out some more complicated way to say it, and I really don't need to, but yeah, learn to be more conscious of and live with, because they're a part of us, for those of us that have things like ADHD, ADD, neurodivergency, or even something as detrimental as bipolar disorder, or something of the like, these aren't imaginary. They do exist, and they affect us. And there's nothing wrong with recognizing them. It might be scary for some people, and some people want to deny in their fear, but you need not do that, and you haven't done that. In fact, submitter, you have accepted that, and that is great. Because not only are you thriving, you are always continuing, from what I can tell, attempting to find ways to cope, to overcome, and to continue to move forward. And that is something that is something that you need to recognize yourself. That is something you should be proud of. I'm proud of you. Because that's awesome. It's awesome to see that you are able to make it, you know? You are able to do what you want. You have a job. You are sustaining. That's awesome to hear. So no, remember this ADHD gamer. You are doing nothing wrong, and it is okay if you are sick and tired of listening to your dad tell you that this needs to be that, this needs to be this, you need to do this and this and this. Just keep letting him know, well, here's the thing, dad. I have a job, I have a home, and I'm doing just fine. You might not like it, you might have something to say about it, but I love you, and I love me, 
and I love mom, and I'm not going to stop. Keep saying that, and eventually either he's going to stop talking about it, or he's going to start to get his head out of his ass. One of the uh, one of the two things will happen. Trust me. That's what I've seen, at least, when it comes down to dealing with people, especially family members, that are stuck on the you'll grow out of it train when it comes to things like neurodivergency and the like. Because there's nothing wrong with taking medication, especially when it comes to the types of stimulants and the like that will help you lead a more fulfilling lifestyle, a more aware lifestyle, as you put it. Because for everyone, everyone has different ways that work best for them. And medication is nothing to be ashamed of, especially when it comes to our mental health. Remember that, my friend. Continue to move forward, knowing that you are doing just fine. I appreciate your submission, and I appreciate our viewers for sticking by. Now, before we move on to our second submission, let's have a small commercial break, shall we? Well, hey there, everybody. Did you know that Asian Fasha Gamer has a Patreon? Now that's right, everybody. And we're here to tell you about it together. Subscribers have a chance to see content early as well as request content on higher tiers. That's right. You can ask Asian Fasha Gamer to read you a story, talk to you about lore or gameplay or many other things. But wait, there's more. Subs that have been stayed around for three months or longer get special gifts. And if we reach our stretch goal of 10 subs or more, we will continue to add more to the Patreon, making it better for all of you. So please consider, at the very least, checking out Asian Faja Gamer's Patreon, maybe subscribing and supporting him. And of course, we thank you for your time. Hey, everybody. Mr. Announcer and Random Skull are here to tell you about something amazing. Oh, that's right. We have a merch store known as the AFG Brand Store, where you can purchase many different things. Do you want a tin cup? Do you want a water bottle? Do you need a shirt? Do you need other things? Things that make you so that you support Asian Faja Gamer? Well, check out the AFG Brand Store. But wait, there's more. That's right. We are going to be continuing to add to the merch store. On the monthly, we'll be adding in new designs as well as, of course, introducing discounts for all of you. So check out the AFGBrandStore.com. Welcome back, everybody. I do hope that you enjoyed our first submission, and I appreciate those of you that have hung around for the rest of this episode. With that, let's get on into our second submission, shall we? This one is brought to us by Just Wondering, and they write, Hey Fasha, I am so happy to see this podcast still going, and I hope to see you get big as a content creator. Thank you for all that you do, Fasha. This is not actually an issue, but something I have wanted to ask you and would love to hear you talk about here on Fasha The Advice. I have seen you time and time again try to motivate others, be positive, and help with each of your daily affirmations, this podcast, and even just interacting with us during your live streams. My question to you is, how do you do this, my dude? How do you keep pushing forward and believing in people that you have never even seen their face? And most importantly, how do you stay happy? Sincerely, just wondering. First off, I read this as I've read and screened through the majority of our submissions here on Fajli Advice before I record an episode. And I do want to say, to be just wondering, thank you so very much for your kind words. It's people like you, the members of my community, that I am so beyond grateful for, for your support, for donating your time, which is absolutely precious. I am so grateful for all of you. Thank you, really. It means absolutely everything, everything to me. That there are people out there that support me, that are entertained, and that I am able to bring a smile to your day, truly. 
I also do want to take a second to say thank you to a few special people, such as my two co-hosts, Odasia, who is also a paid Patreon sub, along with Hey, I'm Chef, who is also my producer, both of which are also my friends and who have supported me some time now. And to both of you, if you do watch this episode, I am truly grateful for you. Thank you for your friendship. Thank you for your help. Thank you for everything. And of course, to our other two Patreon subs, Minimoto TV and Geisafage. Your support means so very mu means so much to me. And I am so very grateful. Thank you. All of you. Really. As a content creator, you have no idea the weight of something as simple as taking a minute of your time to leaving a comment can do and mean to someone like me as a content creator. So thank you. Now, let's get this gushing aside and get to this submission, shall we? Now, just wondering, here's something I want you to understand. Because we're going to kind of go backwards. The first thing I do want to intro I want to address here is the staying happy part. I'm going to be completely forward with all of you and any of you that watch my podcast, that watch any of my bits of content and all of that. More often than not, I am putting on a mask of some kind. I am. And though I am doing my best to be as genuine as I can, to be myself, the mask that I am putting on is to show that, is to not show you the trouble that I have been going through, the struggles that I deal with, because you're not here for that. None of you are when it comes to flashily advice or when I'm entertaining as on stream or doing some other form of content. I'm not here to give you the weight of what I'm dealing with. I am here to push forward and be a content creator, to be an entertainer, to be able to help you, the viewer, smile for one reason or another. Because that's what is a win for me as a content creator. That's what matters to anyone who truly wants to be a content creator, a streamer, an entertainer in any way. The goal is to entertain. And if we don't do that, we fail. But if we can do something as small as bring a smile to your day, then we win. And that means more to me than anything. Because that means that I had some influence. A positive influence. It's, that is something that I wish for more people. I wish to see for more people. Because I wish to see that for myself at times. And why not? Why not do that when I can? Because that is something that my grandpa asked me. When I was young, when I asked him, why be kind? Why care? I asked him that one day when I was young and angry. And you know what he told me? He told me one simple answer. Why not? We have no reason not to be kind. We have no reason not to care. And we have no reason not to love. That is something we gain over time. Through learning, through knowledge, through experience. But our first reaction should always be to be patient, to be compassionate, to love, to be kind. Because why not? And that's something that I have held with me. To this day, even though he has long since passed, that is one of the most principles that I hold on to. Why not? And I'm not always happy. 
I'm not. There are many days where I am struggling. There are many days where I am sad. There are days where I am unsure, where anxiety grips my heart so hard that I can't even think to move. But those are my problems. And even so, even so, I still need to move forward. I still have things to do. Time stops for no one. But what am I going to do? Am I going to sit here, waste time bitching? Or am I going to get busy fixing? We all have things to do. We all have places we want to be. And though we struggle and we face things in life, we can't let that stop us. We can deal with them. We can face them. We can take time to process and assimilate the information. But we can never stop time from moving. But why should we? And that is the reason why, when I'm streaming, when I'm entertaining, I continue to put on a face where I can smile. Because I am smiling. Because I am happy. Because there's nothing more fun Nothing more fulfilling in my life than entertaining, than being a content creator, than being able to bring a small amount of joy to you. That's why. That's what I believe in. And how can I believe in people when I've never even seen their face? Because I have seen the worst, and I have seen the best in the worst of times. I have seen the worst in the best of times. I have experienced a lot, my friend. And despite it all, what holds the most weight is the kindness of strangers. The kindness of those that care. That's why I believe. Because that's in everybody. That's in every single person even those that have fallen so far that they don't believe they can get back up it's in them too and why not help someone smile why not believe in them because that might be all they need to reach their happiness and here's the thing i don't believe this life is a competition i don't believe that we who have attempted to continue to evolve are meant to compete with each other any longer. We are meant to stand together. Because this world is a better place. The more people reach their happiness, it's bright, better. And we can do that together. We don't need to push one aside. We can all reach our happiness. That's why I believe. That's why I try. And that's why I do my daily affirmations. That's why being a content creator matters to me. Because it's my way of reaching out. Just like this podcast. So, just wondering. I truly do hope that this answers your question. And I appreciate your submission. Truly. And thank you to you, our viewers. To all of you, to my subscribers, I am so thankful for all of you. And to any new viewers who come in, well, if you do want to support me as a content creator, check out the information that is coming in at the end of this episode. And of course, please do remember to check out the links, subscribe, like, and comment for more. And of course, it's time for this love train to get rolling on through. Choo choo. I love every single freaking one of you. Well, everybody, that's the end of Fajali Advice. I hope you did enjoy this episode and you found some value in what I said. And of course, if you are interested in participating, if you need some advice or some perspective, feel free to email the address at the end of this part. And remember, all submissions are 100% anonymous. Thank you so much and have a wonderful day. 
Need some perspective? Need some advice? Want your submission read on podcast? Well, email Faja at FajaLeeAdvice at gmail.com. And remember, all submissions are 100% anonymous unless requested upon.